Hey, it's me. I'm Honeybee, it's me. I'm the worst singer. What do you want from me? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This week we're doing a get ready with me, my first one. So wish me luck, guys. Today we're gonna chat all about how I got my Taylor Swift tickets. It was kind of freaking annoying. Couldn't even believe the big kerfuffle it was. I got the pre-sale. So if you wanted the pre-sale, you had to sign up, select three options of cities. Yeah, cities that you're wanting to go to. I got the email with a pre-sale code, which was tight. Only selected people got this pre-sale code. I'm going with my friend Morgan. Um, she's my best friend. So I get the pre-sale code. Morgan got one as well. I had to work the day the pre-sale comes on sale. You have to go online to Ticketmaster at 9.30. You get put in what's called a waiting room. At 10, they push you into the queue. And it's like, okay, you're like 2,000th in line. I'm like, there's no way I won't be done before my first client at 11. The line's like not even moving, which was kind of annoying. You guys always do like one eyebrow better than the other. So anyways, I make it to work and I'm still in this dang queue. So I do my first client and thank God, I don't even know what her job title is, but her name's Kitty. Caitlin, she's the best. We vibe. I know I'm her favorite. She hangs out downstairs. So I'm like, damn, like, I can't be watching my phone, dog. I gotta work, son. So Caitlin came in clutch. She was so stressed out. She watched my phone for me. I don't know if I'm red because of my wood stove or because it's freaking the red wine. Well, my clients are processing while well, the color's sitting on. I come and check out my phone. And at one point, it was like, Technical difficulties, things aren't moving, is essentially what Ticketmaster said. They're, all the girls are working that day, there's so many of us. And it's kind of fun, it becomes like, everybody's invested in it. Is Honey Bee gonna get tickets? I didn't know what was going on with Morgan because I got my phone, I couldn't text her. I was like, hey, we gotta do this. And everyone just came through and had my back. So I decided to take my phone like around 2.30 when I had this men's cut and I just, cause I knew this guy was super chill and I just kept it on, my station beside me. So I keep eyes on it. Then all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. This queue starts moving. 1100, 900th in line, 500th in line. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, buddy, it's almost go time. Like I've been waiting all dang day. He's like, do what you gotta do, girl. Eventually it's my turn to buy tickets. I select some tickets. We had a budget of 500 Canadian per ticket. And we're getting three because we thought our homie Kylie would want to come because she's as, obs as much as a Swifty as we are. I look like a this right now. <laughs> So I run downstairs to our staff room. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. This is in November when the tickets came on sale. So I was broke and I was using Morgan's credit card. So I select our tickets, they look decent, 100 section or something. I'm like, okay, let's push this through. And like the credit card wasn't going through. So Morgan's credit card looks the exact same as mine. The numbers are so similar. This dumb put in my expiry date and not Morgan's. So Morgan's getting fraud alerts, fraud alert, fraud alert. I'm me trying to purchase these tickets. I tried to purchase tickets, lost them. And I was like, oh my God, what happened? And I just try again, lost them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I run and get Kitty's phone. Morgan, Mor thank God Morgan answered. And then I had to go redo my like credit card information, Morgan's credit card information. And like at this point, after waiting for six hours, your homie was stressed. Your homie was feeling the pressure dog. Like I selected tickets and I'm still on the phone with Morgan. So, you know, you go through, there's a bunch of different pages of stuff you have to select or type in, whatever. I was on one page and it showed the total, but I remember seeing a total and I'm like, okay, that was similar to the, the other tickets I was gonna purchase. So whatever, that's fine. Like we'll spend a little more than we thought, all good. I get to the last page, I see the total and I'm like, Morgan, they're so expensive. She's like, do it. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. And then I order them, payment goes through, we're yelling freaking out. We feel so elated. I can't even believe it that we got tickets. That amount was disgusting. Honestly, I'll tell you guys the price because I know that's what you want to freaking know. When I tell people I'm going to Taylor Swift and they ask how much the ticket prices were, homie's fibbing, bro. Homie's fibbing and you only get to know the price if you watch this. So I tell people they were 300 Canadian a piece. Those tickets, mother like 936 a piece. Canadian, 936. I felt so bad because I am the one. Blue, shut up, man. He's freaking snoring. I might have to shove him in my bedroom. Anyways, so I'm the one making the decision here. 
I was the one who made the final call when I was like, oh, I'm not really like sure how much they were or if that was Canadian or American. And then Morgan's like, yeah, like almost $3,000 went through on my credit card. I'm like, <laughs> My whole fucking life is gonna be spent paying off this damn ticket. But I was so excited to get them. Seeing all the drama on Facebook after about Ticketmaster f it up and the craziest part, they oversold and nobody else that was for regular sale or the other pre-sales were able to get tickets because they f***ed up, there's so much traffic. Couldn't even believe Ticketmaster f***ed that up so bad, man. So yeah, Morgan and I, we're gonna be going to Houston and then staying there for a couple days, then we're gonna rent a car and drive to Austin. I saw online that people that were waiting in the queue, they were getting kicked out of the dang queue, homies. Like, Ticketmaster could eat my butthole. Like, I can't even believe how lucky I am. And I haven't bought tickets in Ticketmaster in like 10 years. So I felt so lucky. Honestly, I've been a fan of Taylor Swift since I was 15. So to be fair, I feel like I really deserve to be like one of the ones but I am very appreciative and happy. Okay, so I'll give you a little hint about our fits. Morgan is going to be reputation themed and I'm going to be Midnight's themed. My favorite song is Cowboy Like Me because it's so romantic. Anyways, I'm blabbing. So that's how I got the dang tickets. If you want to know what products I use, they're in the comment box. Please subscribe if you want to follow along to our Taylor Swift journey. I'm going to be posting videos of our outfits, how I'm going to do my hair, all that. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.